80th All India Presiding Officers Conference. The two-day conference is now uh, in motion and of course uh, it, we'll see a lot of uh, discussions surrounding around how we see harmony between the three organs that is the judiciary, legislature and executive as well and very clearly all those who spoke today, all the dignitaries who spoke today clearly mentioned that and spoke about how we need to see far more uh, uh, you know, coordination and synergy as far as the three bodies are concerned. We just heard the president speak at the conference. Before that, of course, uh, the vice president also spoke at the conference and spoke about how uh, uh, the presiding officers of the state legislature should be looked at as high priests and spoke about their importance as well and how we can take uh, things forward. We also heard the speaker of the Lok Sabha, Om Birla, speak at the gathering as well, along with other dignitaries. Joining me right now is uh, Chakshu Roy uh, of the of PRS Legislature. Uh, thank you, uh, PRS Legislative Research, I beg your pardon. Chakshu, uh, as far as the speeches that we heard this afternoon, what were the key takeaways for you? Frank, uh, 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 all the dignitaries that spoke today uh, highlighted two or three uh, critical things. Uh, one was the centrality of the constitution. The vice president uh, made uh, his remarks where he said that uh, everybody, all the three uh, institutions are responsible for protecting the constitution. Uh, and it reminds me that uh, the oath that uh, the presiding officers take, both the VP and the speaker, uh, part of the oath is that they will protect and defend the constitution. So that was one key point. Uh, the Speaker of Lok Sabha uh, talked about the uh, historic nature of this occasion, about how the presence of the president, uh, every aspect of the legislature was represented. The president is there, the vice president and presiding officer of Rajya Sabha, the speaker himself, uh, the leader of opposition and chairman of the Public Accounts Committee, uh, Mr. Adhir and Chaudhary was there, and then obviously the host states Chief Minister and uh, the Speaker of the Legisl Gujarat Legislative Assembly. Uh, all speakers talked about uh, the, uh, the the importance of constitution. Uh, Mr. Adhir Ranjan Taudri talked about the, the diversity that the constitution provides and protects. Uh, I, I think the Vice President and the Speaker made uh, some really key points. Uh, the Vice President talked about the fact as to uh, the role of the judiciary and what the boundary of the judiciary should be. He talked about the fact, he commended the judiciary for uh, a number of uh, socio-economic uh, judgments that have come out from the judiciary. But he also mentioned uh, some of the cases where uh, perhaps the judiciary stepped a little bit out of its domain and encroached upon the domain of the executive of the legislature. He highlighted those instances uh, about where those things uh, you know, could have happened. Uh, 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 um, but the vice president was also in a reflective mood when he talked about the fact as to that the institution of legislature should also look inside. He talked about question hour and he said as to how an important uh, uh, avenue of government accountability uh, has been disrupted on many occasions. He referred to the fact that in uh, uh, when the 50th uh, anniversary of the uh, Republic was being celebrated, uh, 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 the two houses had gotten together and passed a resolution that question hour would not be disrupted. Uh, and he mentioned that it is easier to pass resolutions, but to carry forward the work of those resolutions or to implement those resolutions equally hard and should be, uh, and should be thought about. Uh, the, the Vice President also talked about the fact as to how we need to strengthen the legislative institution, whether it comes to parliamentary committees and the working of those committees. He talked about the fact as to how members of parliament should be paying more attention to the decorum and their conduct in the house because it reflects on the institution of legislature. And then uh, it determines uh, uh, the respect that the institution of legislature enjoys in the eyes of the people. Uh, finally, I think uh, the president summed up uh, the occasion and uh, uh, he was uh, he made everybody aware of the fact as to the role that legislature plays and 
that the legislature and the and our legislators hold in their hands the keys to uh, the, the respect uh, that they need to deserve from citizens. Uh, he also highlighted the role of the presiding officers, and he said as to how, as you mentioned, the presiding officers are supposed to be high priests of the institution of the temple of democracy, and how they need to be nonpartisan in a way from party functioning. So. Uh, 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 the speakers on the dais today have laid down the foundation for what uh, hopefully will be fruitful discussions over the next day and a half. You know, talking about the next day and a half, let's not forget, uh, Chakshur, tomorrow is a very, very important day, Constitution Day. That's something that the President also mentioned in his speech. It's, it's a, an extremely significant day and, you know, to have this particular conference around that day throws a lot of significance as well. Absolutely, Frank. I, uh, I completely agree with you. Uh, the Constitution specifies the relationship between the three uh, institutions, the judiciary, the executive, and the legislature. And that uh, also is the, the harmonious working of these three institutions is also the central theme uh, of this two-day presiding officers conference. And we should also remember that the Constitution sets out the limits. And as uh, as the vice president and the speaker also said, it also says as to what is the balance of check, uh, you know, checking measures that the institutions have amongst each other. Uh, I'm also reminded of the fact that the vice president distinctly pointed out that uh, the institution of judiciary should also look at uh, some of the actions that they have taken. And he mentioned one of the bills uh, that was passed uh, uh, by the legislature, which was the National Judicial Accountability Bill, uh, which was uh, uh, which was struck down by the Supreme Court. So I think uh, uh, tomorrow being Constitution Day uh, is also something that will be on the minds of all the participants when they engage on the deliberations. So hopefully the 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 quality of deliberations will not only be about the operative part of the day-to-day -day functioning of the legislature. But it will be elevated to that macro level where uh, the weight of the constitution and constitutional responsibilities on legislatures uh, is something also that will guide the discussion uh, uh, during this conference. Absolutely. You know, and as far as this conference itself is concerned, uh, uh, you know, Chakshu, over the years, it has you know, been abreast with the times. The most crucial and important issues have been discussed Right now, too, we are here, so the most important issues are going to be discussed over the next day and a half. It's going to be extremely important as far as the uh, presiding officers of the state legislatures are concerned as well. They can come together, they can talk about some of the issues that they are facing, deliberate and try and come out with some kind of solution and ensure that, uh, you know, the parliament, uh, parliamentary functioning or the functioning of the uh, arms that we have here is further strengthened. Correct. Uh, Frank, I think, uh, you know, uh, uh, for me, the key highlight of this uh, conference is not only the agenda setting that uh, the speaker and the vice president have done, but also the learnings and the experience sharing that will happen between the different state legislatures. Uh, in our country, we have legislatures which have anywhere between, you know, 35 to, you know, 400 uh, legislators. We have uh, uh, we have legislative assemblies and some states also have legislative councils. And each one of them brings about a diversity of experience. They bring about the fact, the unique circumstances that their house faces when it comes to uh, uh, keeping a check uh, on uh, executive functioning, uh, keeping a check on the functioning of government finances, keeping a check uh, on the governance, which is increasingly becoming technical day by day. And I think uh, this is also an occasion for presiding officers and their secretary generals to discuss what to do, how to ensure that the legislative institution remains at the forefront of discharging its constitutional responsibilities in a time when we are facing a pandemic and it creates impediments in physical meeting of the legislature. So the role of committees, the role of ensuring that parliament meets for a longer time or state legislative assemblies meet for a longer time will also be something that will be a key discussion point among the participants in the two-day conference. You know, since we are here, Chakshu, so, you know, what does all of this mean for the 
respective secretariats as well because you know as far as uh, the functioning of legislatures are concerned it's not just you know uh, when they are in session they work there's a lot of other things that happen too behind the scenes and and you know when when the respective houses are not in session frank i would slightly disagree with you uh, i think uh, what we see on our television screens when we see the functioning of parliament or when we see the functioning of state legislatures that i think is a very small part of the legislative functioning a bulk of the work that is done by our legislatures and their secretariats actually happens behind the camera so throughout you know, the year that, that's what i was refer that's what i was referring to chakshu that you know there's a lot of work that happens behind the scenes and that's something that many people don't really know about absolutely absolutely uh, I, 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 and i think you know uh, if mr vivek agnihotri was here you know he would have said that uh, uh, it takes 3 years to make a movie but you can see it in about you know 2 hours but nobody looks at the fact uh, that what it took uh, to get to that stage and that's the role the secretariat of the institution plays so to give you a small example uh in the last one month several committees of parliament have been functioning now the the meetings of these committees are closed door members of parliament are coming to parliament house they are participating in these meetings the government is coming and giving giving evidence other parties are also coming and giving evidence and all of this work will then result in a report of the committee which will be on a particular legislation and the legislation will and what you and i will see will be the actual debate on the legislation but we will not be able to see the the depth of the debate that happened over the last 3 or 4 months in terms of those committees so for me one of the things that will happen out of this conference is that legislators across the states the their their secretary generals when they speak to each other they will realize as to what are the things that they can learn and absorb and replicate from some of the some of the other legislators for example the speaker of the gujarat uh, legislature referred to the fact that uh, their legislature has instituted an award for uh, uh, an outstanding uh, mla uh, in their legislature perhaps that is something that some of the other legislative assemblies and their secretariats might want to think about or if the up uh, uh, legislature uh, if the up speaker is there he would share some of the advancements uh, in their committee system that they have instituted to uh, get accountability of government uh, to the up legislature so i think those are the things that background work that the legislatures do and how can that be strengthened and how can that be improved is going to be another area that will come out of this uh, today conference absolutely and you know as far as uh, what you are referring to chakshu you know uh, ensuring that we learn and evolve and take some of the best practices forward talking about best practices you know uh, over the years has the conference adopted any of these things because the, you know we like we were discussing earlier in the day as well that you know there are there is no binding uh, there's nothing binding as far as the conference is concerned they are just resolutions frank uh, you know you're very right uh, there is nothing binding at the conference but one of the things that definitely happens at the conference is that uh, previous years reports are discussed uh, during uh, that uh, during the presiding officers conference so uh, there is an element of stock taking happens now if i go back and look at previous conferences and uh, we talk about the factors to what were some of the resolutions or what were some of the discussions that took place and did they actually result in something uh, i distinctly remember that uh, Uh, when i was reading uh, uh, literature on previous presiding officers conferences the parliamentary committee system came out of a presiding officers conference the training for newly elected uh, first time legislators was a direct outcome of a discussion that took place in a presiding officers conference uh, televising of proceedings of legislatures both at parliament and state uh, legislature level was something that you know came out of uh, a presiding officers conference uh decorum and discipline what are the different avenues uh, that can be evolved came out of the presiding officers conference uh, uh rules some of the rules related around money bills and how to deal with uh, budgetary discussions how to strengthen them how to strengthen question hour directly came out of discussions out of the presiding officers conference right so i think while the resolutions are there 
uh, the resolutions are a unified expression of what uh, all the presiding officers uh, feel about what should be the focus or what should be how should the legislatures of this country speak in one voice mm. at the end of the conference mm. but are a number of um, uh, uh, you know uh, technical aspects that legislatures then start absorbing uh, in themselves and making changes to their procedures based sure. on the discussion Absolutely. All right. Chakshu, we'll have to leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining me on the program and sharing your views and putting things into perspective for us. That's it on this special telecast. See you again next time.